Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Star Cold Gaming here, back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and enable the bell next to it so you can get notification when something's going on on the channel. So guys, it is Thursday, so every Thursday we are doing a weekly roster review. Now, if you wish to participate in the weekly roster review, guys, it's pretty simple. You go in the description below the video, you click on the Discord link, join the Discord server, then once you reach a Discord server right here, uh, well, you're going to be in this chat first. You're going to go in the MFF Roaster Review channel. Uh, you type your question, your IGN, uh, what's your question pretty much, guys. And every Thursday, I try to uh, review everybody that posted there. And it's that simple, guys. Every Thursday, we do that now. We have Endgame coming in a few days, guys. Uh, an Endgame update coming in a few days. So I might actually not go as deep in my recommendation as usually because uh, we don't know what's coming. Well, kind of know what, what uniform we're getting uh, already. But what I mean is that we don't know if they're going good or bad. So I'm going to be careful in what I actually recommend today because of that. Uh, when we get those new uniforms next week, uh, the next week we'll ro weekly roster review is going to be much, much, much more accurate for sure. So let's get started here, guys, with the first one. We have uh, RGA96. I, I like to participate in roster review. Here is for that. My nick is RG, RGA96. Thanks. And I watch all your videos. Double smiley face. Thanks for watching all my video buddies. So let's go take a quick look at your account. So what does the roster review uh, include guys? It's pretty simple. I'll check cards. I'll check recommendations for the roster like next tier 3, next tier 2, next 6 stars. Now if you actually want more deeper questions like uh, what obelisk equip on specific character. Uh, you go in the other YouTube, uh, well, not YouTube, but Discord channel, the chats channel, and you just ask a question right away there uh, because it will be too long to actually go in details on every account. It could take 10 to 15 minutes per account sometimes, and that's just too long for a video. So we try to keep that simple uh, for this video, but always free. feel free to actually post on the regular chat on the Discord server for more uh for deeper question pretty much more elaborate question so rga uh, 96 let's start with your cards here all cards effect cooldown is good ignore defense is good attack speed is good so that is good now if you're trying to build for land conquest you're lacking max hp but i don't have the information here so what can you do with those cards now let's see um this card is good I will not change this one. Buttons option is good. This is a perfect roll for this card. Good max HP on it too. This card pretty close to the perfect roll too. So I will not really touch this one. Uh, this one all attack critical rate pretty decent. And this one here physical attack critical damage. Uh, honestly I don't see anything you could actually do better with those cards. Now, you got this card that's level 2. I think you could actually build another Punisher and try to get, you know, the same bonus action as a higher level card. I think that will be a little boost. Uh, but overall, uh, your cards are doing pretty good, even though your attack is a little bit low. But that will come when you actually get more, um, more premium cards, uh, you know, more viable premium cards, pretty much. Uh, so that's what you can do uh, right now. Uh, I will not replace any of those cards right now unless you get something much, much, much better from uh, premium cards. Like I said, you know, when you do the wall boss ultimate and get those booty, uh, if you get a good premium card, then, then we can look actually at replacing one of your uh, finisher or nebula cards at that point. Uh, if we look at your roster here, uh, tier 3, uh, you're missing Captain Mar uh, Deadpool, you got it. Okay, so... Next tier 3 should be Captain Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel is amazing for uh, covers 2 Alliance Battle Extreme Day. Uh, pretty strong in Wall Boss Ultimate, Giant Boss Raid, and she's one of the top 5 characters in PvP. So if you uh, build her properly, she is just amazing. So I highly recommend her to be your next tier 3. 
but we never know. Maybe uh, Thanos will actually when get to tier three will even be better than than we expect, and it will actually become a, your number one target uh, as tier three. So I'll actually just hold up on that tier three yet, and just wait to see what's coming first. Uh, if we look at your uh, regular roster here. Um, I highly recommend you to finish a Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic currently is the best tier 3 comeback character in the game. Uh, maybe uh, Captain America Unicorn will change that, but I only thought that it could give that much of a boost since they never changed a tier 3 skill in the past. So I'm, I really don't think that's going to happen. So I highly recommend you to finish working on Mr. Fantastic as Netflix tier 2 here. Uh, Gambit, if you, if you do, uh, pay, well, uh, well, bio subs, acting subs, so I highly recommend, recommend you to get Gambit to tier 2. Uh, he's just one of the top, the top 10 characters against Wobos Ultimate in the game, so, uh, very good character to get to tier 2 for sure. Uh, Korat, best characters for speed villain, uh, all in Spile Extreme, so recommend to get him to tier 2. This guy, Universal hero, uh, best team up, and is also amazing in the Wall Dogs Ultimate event by himself. Uh, so those are kind of my recommendation for tier two. Now Minerva, Minerva should be a very, very highly focused character. Uh, honestly, when we get uh, the tier two selector uh, on April 30, I think you should actually use it on Minerva. She is one of the most important character in the game and. Uh, she covers three lines by Extreme Day, so I highly recommend you to get her and get her up and, uh, well, to use that tier 2 selector on her pretty much. And get her, her uniform on the next uniform cell. And if we look at the rest, doesn't seem to be anything else. Uh, well, you got Victorious to work on after uh, you're done with Ghost Panther. Victorious is. Uh, best characters for universal uh, villain right now, but with Thanos coming, she might just not be awarded anymore. So uh, wait for the update, see if uh, Endgame is going to put Thanos at the top of the list in the Lens Battle Extreme. If they don't, well, she's going to be the perfect target to recruit for that. So that is pretty much it for you, RJA96. Hopefully, that was helpful. So Look at what I said, uh, buddy, and uh, when you're done with all that, come back to me and we can do some more roster review for you, buddy. And next we have uh, Daryl here. Me too, review IGN, Wally, Waldy Balls. Nice name. <laughs> nice name, buddy. Okay, so Waldy Balls. What the hell is a Waldy Balls, man? Okay, so let's get started with those cards. I see so many mistakes already. Yeah. Uh, cooldown is trash. Ignore defense is trash. Attack speed is trash. So you gotta redo your whole set of cards. Honestly, the only card uh, I could see in here, and not even that, not even that, the roll, the bonus option are terrible on both of those cards. This card, uh, this card, you could actually keep it. But you only got one attack on it. Yeah, not even worth it to keep that one. Um, honestly, you need to redo your whole set of cards. You need to get your cooldown. So you need that the Loki cards, the Marvel Zombie cards, the number one, number two cards. Then you need Punisher, 19 cards. You need Secret War, 20, 99 Limb Variant cards. And then one of those two cards, the, either the Marvel Future Fight cards or actually the Gwenpool cards is better. Uh, Reroll this card so you can have triple attack on it. All attack, physical attack, and energy attack on it. And that should pretty much fix your cards, uh, at least a little bit. So basically, you are throwing away the card Drax, Future Fight, Civil War, and 1872. And you're going to replace that with Loki, Marvel Zombie, Punisher, and Secrets War 2099 cards. So those are the big changes you need to do with your cards. What's important when you build card sets, guys, I repeat that every time. Cooldown duration 26% plus. 
Dan, in your defense, 25% plus. Dan attack speed, 15% plus. Those are the three most important stats to have on your cards. You need to build that up. If you don't, you're going to fail at this game. You're not going to be able to progress the way you need to be progressing uh, to enjoy the game pretty much. So those are the three main steps actually build up for and the five cards I actually recommended are the perfect cards to get started or with to build build those stats pretty much. Now if we look at the tier tree, well you got pretty much all the tier tree in the game so uh, we're not going to spend so mu much time there. I'm guessing uh, your next tier tree is going to be Thanos. That's actually the perfect target for your next tier 3, that's for sure. Uh, tier 2. Uh, tier 2 is going good. Now we're going to see if we got any tier 1 here. That could be rank up to tier 2. And no, you got all the characters to tier 2, so it's really in your card. And honestly, if you can actually afford having all the tier 2 and tier 3, you got probably some money laying around. So I will recommend you to get uh, uniform to uh, I think it's the low key uniform and tour uniform if I'm not mistaken to go get those two premium cards. That will be my first move to do. Uh, it's to get those uniform to mythical and get those uh, premium cards and roll a good roll on them. That will give you a good advantage there. Then you you can actually once that's done we can actually see. Uh, what other cards, uh, what other things we can do with those cards. But overall, your roster is doing good. It's just your cards that needs a lot of work. A lot and lots and lots of work. That, that's for sure. So uh, work on your cards and come back to me when you have some work done so we can see what else we can do for your cards, buddy. Okay, next one we have Agent Yuza here. I would like a review on my roster, Agent Yuza here. I said that name twice, didn't I? Well, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so let's do this here. Okay, we're gonna start with the cards here. Okay, cards effect. Cooldown is good, in your dodge is good, attack speed is okay, but could use a little boost, uh, that's for sure. Other than that, you're doing pretty good. Let's see what we could do here. That is a very great roll. That is okay roll. Uh, this one is good. All attack and energy attack. This one, all yeah, it's only a level two. Honestly, I will reroll this card since you get at, until you get at least two good bonus option on it. And then if it's already equipped, you're not gonna use uh, lose any good stat. Um, you can actually, I think you can actually get attack speed on that card plus all attack if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that will be a good one to do. This one is good. Let's go see. Uh that black panther cards to make sure that i'm not misleading you in the bonus option here so let's see you can get yeah attack speed with all attack and uh critical damage is the optional but attack speed and all attack is pretty much what you really need on that card and that's pretty much all you need to fix on your cards if you can get that attack speed on that cards with the higher level cards there or the same level cards just with all attack and attack speed that was just already good be a very good uh, improvement on your card for sure now if we look at your roster uh luna snow luna snow luna snow and luna snow i don't know if you do paywall characters though i did not pay attention <laughs> uh if you do not paywall characters because that's actually something that's possible here uh we got uh deadpool i think that captain marvel shall be your next tier three or uh tennis depending on how tennis is going to be good in the next update uh, i think those are the your best option or sharon rogers if you prefer to have sharon rogers up there tier two native seems fine um now if we have any characters that will get upgraded to tier two here um uh, Victorious, but you don't do paywall on what I can see, so we're not really gonna focus on her. Uh, if we go down the list here, this guy, this guy should be six stars tier two. He's amazing, man. Wall boss ultimate killer, shallow lane killer. I highly recommend you to work on this guy. 
Uh, Nyx, Nyx, Nyx. Enchantress is a very good character to have up. Warpath is really good too. So I guess that will be my three uh, recommendations for you. Um, yeah, that will be my three recommendations for you. Uh, Enchantress, I actually used that tier 2 selector on her. Uh, that's going to get on uh, April 30. I think that will be the best best move considering your roster. Uh, and get that Captain Marvel to tier 2 athletes with the new uniform. She's really, really good. So I think that will be my recommendation here for your account, buddy. So work on what I said, and once that's done, uh, come back to me. And you were wondering to me about PvP. Tier 3 Captain Marvel, if you're really worried about PvP. One of the top characters for PvP. Uh, Tennis, top characters for PvP, and Deadpool. Those are the top three characters for PvP. Actually, I want to put immunity to guard break on that uh, Deadpool. So either CTP of Destruction or a regular immunity to guard break plus cross on this guy will actually perfect a uh, setup for you. So that's pretty much it for your account, buddy. Do that and come back to me when that's done and we can work on some more magic for your account, buddy. Okay, next one we have. Uh, Black cards, characters build mostly PvE focus. Who's two tier two in my roster? Uh, okay, the CTP question again. Um, uh, and the characters build uh, that needs to be addressed in the regular chat here. Ask a question with screenshot there. We're gonna take care of that. Uh, for the rest, we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take a look at that, buddy. Let's go see that. Okay, let's get started with the cards here. All cards effect. In your defense is pretty damn great here. Yeah, I'm sure you never need to put any in your defense. <laughs> uh, cooldown is good. Attack speed kill use a little boost, but that's pretty good. Your physical attack is pretty great. Uh, let's see those stats on those cards. That's good. That's good. That is actually pretty good. That is good, and that is good. I'm not changing anything on the cards, to be honest. You're doing pretty good there. Uh, unless you get premium cards to replace those non-premium cards, I'll keep it that way. Now, tier 3. Tier 3. We're going to see. Do you do paywall character? That's my first question. Because if you do, we're going to Luna Snow as your next tier 3. But if you don't, oh, you do. So Luna Snow next tier three with uniform, then she's just the best tier three in the game. So she is my IS recommendation as tier three for sure. So she shall be your next tier three without doubt. And Minerva could use uniform here. Uh, yep, Minerva could obviously use the uniform. Uh, if we scroll down, I just want to see what else. A strife strife needs to be done, bro. One of the top character in the PvP makes Jangri looks like a wuss, man. Uh, Valkyrie 2 tier 2 for uh, the tier 2 passive. Very useful in pretty much all the game modes. Korat to tier 2. Uh, very good. Uh, Imperial actually pretty good at tier 2. Enchantress good at tier 2. Ghost Panther tier 2. Uh, very great sport. So you do have a lot of stuff still to get to tier 2, but you're doing good. Cards are great. Uh, characters so far up there are good. Need more tier 3, need more tier 2, but just follow my recommendation. Then uh, we'll go from there uh, next time you come to me and uh, you have some work done, buddy. That was a fast one, man. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, town cards and what I can do to improve in next tier 2 suggestion and the suggestions for 6 star selector. Meet me. What's up, meet me? <clears throat> okay, so let's take a quick look at that. Yeah, Mr. Meet Me here. Oh, cards, 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 cards. Attack speed is good. Your defense is good. Cooldown is good. Um, Yeah, I, attack is good. So let's just see those cards. Is there anything missing on those cards? That's a good roll. Uh, here we have a good roll. Um, not really liking that you only have one good option on it. If you ever, uh, you know, if you can save like 20 mythical cards to reroll this one, that'll be great. But first, you gotta take care of this one. 
Uh, you're gonna get Loki cards and Mythical with Energy Attack and Attack Speed. Then your defense here very high, so it doesn't matter that much. But that Energy Attack and Attack Speed on it is very important. So I will build, if I were you, I will build another Loki card, get it to Mythical and get it till uh, you get the perfect roll, then replace this card. And we have this one. This one is okay enough for now. So honestly, that's the only change I'll do for now if I were you uh, meet me. It's the only change you actually need to do right away. Is to finish to build another Loki card to replace that legendary one with the proper stats. Uh, if we look at your roster here. Okay, let's see those tier 2. Man, no Luna Snow. Uh... I think you're free to play, right? If I'm not mistaken, let's see. Yeah, there's no Luna Snow. Okay, so that's that sells it. We got pretty much all the good tier three. Other than that, so I'll just wait for uh, Tanas to be honest to see if it's actually that great for tier three. Uh, if we go in tier two, yeah. Oh, you do have paywall characters. You got victorious. Well, if you do another paywall characters, your next tier 3 should be uh, Luna Snow, obviously. Now, tier 2 characters. Let's take a quick look at what you could use at the top here. Luna Snow. <laughs> uh, we're going to mention her all the time, man. Okay, that is, um, that is done. Uh, I was just checking the uniform if that was done too. Let's see what we could do here. Honestly, you're not really missing any importance here too. So since she's getting a uniform, I actually... Nah, she's too easy to form. Now she's a dimensional riff, uh, character. So yeah, I'll actually use that 6-star uh, selector on Nebula. Because she's going to get a good uniform. On Arona, if you're going to get the uniform, I think uh, that'll be my two best options here uh, and I'll actually get them to tier 2. Well, Enchantress could actually be a, a good character to get to tier 2. Mirabi doesn't shine like he used to. So yeah, Enchantress, your tier 2 and 6 star selector uh, she'll be uh, what I just said. <laughs> Nebula. Nebula with that 6 star selector. I think that's the two things you should be doing You with your roster here, buddy. Okay, so that covers me, me, and the last one, we have a fat forehead. Okay. Snow forehead recently started the game. Uh, who, for six star selector, I'm working on cards, but RNG hates me. Okay, let's take a quick look at that, buddy, and see how you're doing. Level 38. Yep, yeah, you're really just starting, man. Okay, first thing. First thing I'll do is find alliance level 28 plus. That is the most important thing to do because that will cover a uh, bonus option is really important. Increase cooldown, especially increase cooldown because you get a lot. I think it's 14% cooldown if I'm not mistaken from alliance. If you're an alliance level 28 plus, it's very, very, very important. So uh, get the hell out of that alliance, man, well, unless it's a friend. And find alliance level 28 plus. Plus, there are many, many, many public alliance that you can actually join like that. Or you can ask AP MVP in the Discord server uh, if he can make room for you in uh, his current alliance. I think that will be the best option for you right now. Now, cards. Uh, cards. I actually recommend you to go watch my um, uh, my guide, uh, beginner cards, but uh, cards you want to work at first, like I said earlier, it's Loki cards, two mythical Marvel zombie cards, Punisher 19 cards, Secret War 2099 cards. Then after that, another cards depending on what you actually need. One of my favorites is the Nebula cards because you get max HP on it and it's very useful when you're actually starting. But you need to put cards there, uh, even if they're trash, put something those slots to get some extra option that's actually going to help you. And that level 30 alliance, very, very, very important. Now, if we look at your next, uh, well, the characters with the six star selector. So let's take a quick look what you, well, what you got pretty much. So 
We got Sharon, we got Enchantress, we got Minerva. So that covers three of the biggest character. Uh, honestly, uh, you got Korat, that's good. You got Iron Armor, that's good. Okay, that covers actually my top five. So you've been listening to me on that part. <laughs> uh, if we look at the rest, sometimes I need to look at stuff to have an, uh, an idea. Honestly, my next option will be uh, Euless Claw. Euless Claw is a very, very good glass super villain. It's actually a very underrated. Either Claw or Scourge will be your next characters with a six star selector. Both great super villain, which is actually very useful in Shadow Land. And, uh, well, they're not farmable unless you go with the Shadow Land Biometrics. So that will be my two characters to actually get the. Uh, either one of them with the selector, but I think that claw is actually stronger than a Scourge in my opinion. So that will be uh, what I will do if I were you. And guys, that pretty much cover all the accounts we had to cover for today. If you have extra question on the accounts, guys, uh, if I review it and uh, there's information missing that you wanted, uh, make sure guys to uh, hit me up in the chat or just ask a question to people in there. We have a lot of people actually know their shit in there and they are very awful. So feel free to ask there for more specific questions. If you have more specific questions. Uh, again, guys, if you want to participate in the roster review, it's pretty simple. You go in the description below the video, you click on that Discord link, go on the MFF roster review channel, post your IGN with your question. And uh, every Thursday, guys, I make a video about roster review and we get that done so guys thank you for watching hopefully you had a good time watching this video hopefully that was helpful for a lot of people not only people that were getting their roster reviewed and guys um i'll see you next week with another weekly roster review thank you guys